my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're going to talk about all the different MAC lipstick finishes. MAC has a huge, huge lipstick line. I think even for the most well-seasoned makeup lover, it can be a little bit overwhelming when you walk into a MAC store and you just see rows and rows of lip products. So hopefully this video will help you decide which lipstick finish is gonna be best for you and help you kind of narrow down your lipstick choice for MAC. MAC offers literally hundreds, hundreds of different choices as far as lip products go. They offer nine different finishes in their traditional lipsticks, but they have so many more lip products, it's impossible for me to talk about them all in one video. Besides these traditional bullet style lipsticks, they offer so many other products. So today I'm just going to be talking about the nine different finishes that they offer in their permanent lipstick line. There are over 190 shades available on MAC's website. Right now, I do not have all of those. I am going to show you swatches and lip swatches of three different colors from each finish. That way you can see what these shades really look like on the lips. And I tried to pick a variety of shades. I tried to throw in a lot of my favorites in there too. Quite a few people have been asking for an updated MAC Lipstick Collection lip swatch video. I think with all my limited edition shades, I have over 100 MAC lipsticks and it's just not possible. And I don't even think it would really be helpful. This is the most informative way I can think to do it. So I am going to show a lot of lip swatches today. I'm going to be giving you a lot of information about the different finishes and I really, really hope that this helps you decide. Of course, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to help you out. First, let's talk about the glaze lipsticks. I actually don't own any of the glaze finishes. There are only four shades available on the MAC website right now. According to MAC, they are lightweight, sheer coverage, and have a shiny finish. So I imagine them to be sort of like tinted lip balms. Like I said, I don't have any of them. I haven't tried them. If you've tried a glaze lipstick, let us know which shade you've tried and how you liked it. Next, let's talk about the Luster Finish Lipsticks. They are a lightweight formula with easy glide, sheer to medium, buildable coverage, and they have a lustrous finish. The Luster Lipsticks are quite comfortable. They are not transfer proof and they are not long wearing. Now we're going to talk about the Cream Sheen lipsticks. There are 40 shades currently available in the Cream Sheen finish. They have a creamy, balmy formula with a comfortable feel on the lips. They're medium, buildable coverage with a semi-glossy finish. I think these look and feel quite similar to the Luster finish, and they do have a similar wear time as well. Now we have the Frost Finish Lipsticks. There are 24 shades available. They have a smooth formula with a medium buildable coverage, high pearl, and a semi-lustrous finish. The Frost Lipsticks are very similar to the Cream Sheen Finish Lipsticks. They just have a little bit of shimmeriness to them. Not far behind the frost, we have the metallic finish lipsticks. There are 19 shades currently available. They have a medium buildable coverage with a high intensity metal plated pearlized cream. 
chrome finish. You're probably wondering what is the difference between the frosts and the metallics. The metallics are quite a bit more intense and there is a lot of variation among the shades in my experience, but some of the metallic shades are quite glittery. We're moving on to the Amplified lipsticks now. There are 25 shades available in the Amplified formula. They are ultra creamy with a smooth glide and a bold color payoff. They are full coverage and they have a semi-lustrous finish. These feel super creamy, almost glossy on the lips and they do have incredible pigmentation, but they are not transfer proof. Now for my personal favorite MAC lipsticks, the Satin Finish Lipsticks. There are 27 shades available and they're a creamy formula with a soft cushiony feel, medium buildable coverage, and a satin finish. Satin lipsticks are my favorite because they're the perfect balance between comfort and long wearing. They last a long time, they're not completely transfer proof, but you don't have to touch them up very often, and they don't feel super dry and crackly on my lips. We're almost to the end, hang in there. We're talking about the matte lipsticks next. There are 59 shades currently available and they're described as a creamy rich formula with a high color payoff and a no shine matte finish. Last but not least, we have the Retro Matte Formula. There are eight shades in this formula available. They are long wearing with intense color payoff and a completely matte finish. As you might assume, these are the driest of all the formulas. I don't find them to be uncomfortable, but if you have a low tolerance for really dry mattes, then this probably isn't the formula for you. That's it, we made it through all the swatches and all the info. I know that the swatches I did on the back of my hand aren't the prettiest swatches ever. I could sit here and make them look perfect, but I really want you to see the lipstick being applied and I think that's the easiest way to show you how each formula goes on. So forgive me for having messy hand swatches, but I just wanted you to see each formula in action. Now that you know the difference between all the different finishes, it can really help you narrow down which lipstick you wanna choose. I know there are still tons of shades, so many color options, but once you know which formula appeals to you, then that really kind of narrows the playing field and it can help you zero in on your perfect lipstick. If your priority is comfort, then a glaze, a luster, or a cream sheen is probably gonna be the right pick for you. If you're looking for something with some sheen or some sparkle, then try the frosts and metallics. If you're looking for high color payoff, that's also really comfortable, then the amplified or satin formulas are probably gonna be the best. And if your top priority is pigmentation and long wear time, then the mattes and retro mattes are what you wanna look for. I really hope that you found this video helpful and I'd love to hear about what your favorite MAC lipsticks are. So please leave a comment and share those with us so that we can check out your favorite shades. 
For those of you who stuck around to the very end, I think I want to give away this big bag full of MAC lipsticks. I have 12 brand new MAC lipsticks in here. They're all different shades and different finishes. So if you're interested in winning a bag full of brand new MAC lipsticks, then go follow me on Instagram and see how to enter. This giveaway is not through YouTube, it's through Instagram. So if you want to enter, go check out my Instagram page at Makeup Just For Fun and you can see all the details on how to win this bag of beautiful lip colors. That's all for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending your time here with me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Such a freak. Besides, uh, uh, <laughs> watches. <laughs> Nets, ne, ne, <laughs> Talking would be helpful. What does that even mean? My lips are already sore. We're not even halfway done. Get it together, girlfriend. This is the glittery life that I have accepted. I didn't choose the lip swatch life. The lip swatch life chose me. What are you even talking about? Just calm down. There's glitter, just, there's just glitter everywhere. It's fine, it's fine. All right, we're getting there. We're not getting there in this lipstick, but we're getting there. I wonder how many makeup wipes I've used since I started YouTube. Okay, let's just do the swatches. Let's do the swatches now. I think I'm losing touch with reality. <laughs> I've been in here swatching for so long. This color is beautiful. Mac knows how to make a damn lipstick. The garbage truck's here, but I'm swatching, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. What a weird thing to be excited about. Good enough. <laughs>